Hello Internet! Today we're going to see what happens when your GPU gets hit by a lightning during storm. This mind-blowing vomit of NVIDIA engineer came from a viewer like you, so let's see what it takes to open one of those. Unlike Gamers Nexus, I won't be using a drill or a pneumatic hammer to open it. Instead, I'll use an X-Acto knife blade and some common sense. I don't know how much weed engineers had smoked to come up with this magnetic screw cap, as well as to make the disassembly even more painful by requiring a total of four different screws in two different types and a razor blade. This is some crazy engineering. But what do I know? I don't like anything I see lately, including myself. This guy just keeps getting old and grumpy more and more with every passing day. In any case, these rubber bushings is what keeps this V-shaped bracket in place. These are easily lost, so be sure not to lose them. This connector is disconnected by sliding the metal cover out of the way, and then you pull the cable up. This connector here, you need to lift the black lock on the left and then pull the cable out. Faceplate is next. This is where I noticed all of that charcoal in the HDMI area. And uh, let's continue with the removal of another ribbon cable that I missed earlier. And uh, we are finally inside observing uh, some kind of a pink on top of the core. My guess it's the owner's toothpaste. Who knows? I'm not here to judge. I'm here to educate. Continuing with the obvious area of the damage, let's look under a microscope and clean the area. Okay, now let's take any 3080 series board uh, view file and look at the HDMI port uh, where we can see that in this area here, this patch should make direct connection to the core. This and all the other pins in line are all data lines, so they connect directly into the GPU, so let's measure them in diode mode and see what we get. Starting with pin 1, nothing. Next pin, nothing, 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 and more nothing. One pin is shorted and two pins work, but the rest of them are all gone, so... In comparison, the display port data lines are all intact as you can see. They all have the exact same reading on all of the data lines. So you would think, well just use the display port instead of the HDMI, just like you did in your last repair. I will but we still need to do more diagnostic steps before we assume anything, so let's check for short circuits. No short on 12 volt here. No short on this 12 volt. No short on 5. Another 12 with no short. 38 ohms on memory, that's perfectly normal. 1.8 short and PEX is short. That should be it for this video, but for the sake of entertainment and education, I will lift each coil like so and measure the resistance on the load side. Short is still there on both. Injecting voltage and looking in thermal camera shows absolutely nothing, which means core is dead, 
short internally and it will not show any signs of heat unless I switch to higher voltage, which I do not want to because it may do even more damage to the existing circuits. And that's it for this repair. This is obviously a no fix, no charge. And with that said, I think, and don't quote me on this, that if there was some sort of cheap HDMI switch in between the TV and the GPU, switch would sacrifice itself and the GPU may have lived. I don't know, it's just a theory. Until then, goodbye.